Today I'm going to show you how I made this from this. Welcome back to Frazzled Dad's Minis. I'm Jim, Frazzled Dad. And today I'm going to walk you through how I went through building this great Strider Scout model from Neoteric. Uh, links to it are down in the description block. Um, I'm also going to talk a bit about how I struggled with some motivation and getting some things done. Um, it's been a uh, bit of a struggle month with just a lot of things going on in life and very wrapped up with a volunteer organization doing finance and government tax things. And anyway, it was just tough to get my head in a spot to sit down and make time and have the energy and the motivation to knock this out. So, you know, not only am I going to be talking about building up and painting the model, I'm going to be talking a little bit of some meta stuff. I hope you find it interesting. Let's get after it. This model by Neoteric is really awesome. There's a huge number of options. It's really poseable. There are a lot of things you can do with it. But I found when you're dealing with ball joints and models, you really need to pin stuff. So I'm drilling some holes. I'm using some clipped up paper clips. I'm using uh, some really good black CA glue and accelerant to really lock things into place. Uh, ball joints are awesome, but you've got to pin them. Again, this really is a terrific model. I really enjoy building little mini dioramas. I've got a base that I printed off on my brand new Bamboo P1S FDM printer. And I'm using some bits from Epic Basing. They're kind of dicks, but they make really good uh, bits and pieces. And yay for Vallejo Earth Texture. Uh, I don't have a whole bunch of different ones. I just love this stuff. Great product and lots of fun to work with. Here I'm starting to lay out things on the base. I've got the Strider fully assembled. Not everything is glued in. One interesting approach that Neoteric uses is you can clip the legs together and they'll hold before you glue them, which is really a cool feature. Uh, there's also a really cool drone that was part of the 9 billion options. You'll see how I use that a bit later. Uh, I'm using a gun that I'm going to chop up just as... Uh, a piece on the battlefield kind of wreckage so I'm just starting to lay things out and then uh, I'll clip up the gun a little bit to make it look like it's uh, you know suffered some damage and I'll throw those around on the base as well but again I tend to really enjoy these little mini diorama fiddling around things <music> So we're jumping ahead a bit here. I've got the base coat sprayed onto the Strider and I've taken a bit of clear plastic from a little parts box and I'm going to use this as a scanner beam and I zapped some paint on it. The paint kind of burbled up into interesting patterns and I'm just checking out how it's going to fit. Some trying to get some ideas on how I'm going to fasten it. Um, and then get that down on the base. Now it's time to clean up uh, some of the overspray I had. So I'm getting black on, you know, body parts. My idea was that I'd have the armor blue with some red that I'll throw on later and then all the mechanical things black so I'm just starting to get that blocked in. Here I'm throwing on some AK Wine Red. I really like the color and I thought it'd play off nicely against the blue, so I just decided to throw some on and see how it looked, and I liked how it turned out. You 
know, one of the things when I'm struggling with motivation, regardless of whether it's painting or work or house chores, whatever, I find it for my head, it's really important to get some physical activity in. Um, I've been struggling with some injuries and I haven't been able to work out for several months. Um, you know, it's impacting my weight. It's definitely impacting my mind, but I'm back a little less broken and have been able to get out into my gym that I set up out in my garage. And that's a huge help. So, you know, sometimes if you're struggling, just get some fresh air, get out of the house, do something. Maybe it isn't working out. Maybe it's just going for a little walk or playing with your dogs in the field, but step out and get some fresh air. It's a huge help to try to reset your brain. I really like detailing mechanical areas of robots and bikes and whatever. Again, struggling with time, was struggling with uh, energy. And so some quick dry brushing, and you can see that this is going on pretty heavy, and that was sort of intentionally so. But silver over black, you know, it's a quick way to get some depth, to get some things to pop out, get some texture, whatever, all the fancy painter words. Um, but, you know, this wasn't edge highlighting. This wasn't being really careful, rather just getting in with some silver to bring out a level of detail. Uh, again, these, these sculpts are just terrific in detail. This was a quick way to make some stuff pop. Have I mentioned recently how much I love pin washing? Probably not since the last... Uh, video that I did on big stumpy things. Pin washing is magic. A little bit of black or really, really dark oil paint, a whole lot of white spirits, dab it in and watch magic happen. You can see here, because of the light uh, armor color, just how effective this is. It's easy and then you just come back up with a uh, brush dampened with mineral spirits and clean up around it. It's such a great technique. This is just a bit of detail work here. I'm taking that Vallejo steel that I used for dry brushing and I'm going to go around and catch a couple details like the grates in the engine intakes and then the uh, kind of weird antenna things popping off the head of the pilot ball turret thingamabob. Um, I'm also going to use some golden fluorescent green and uh, pick out some eyeball looking things there. So just a little bit of detail. Uh, also, I think I had at this point done some sponging. Uh, you can see some damage and some weathering chipping there. So that was just using that black paint that I had and a bit of sponge torn up to get some marring and some marking on there. Once again, I'm using Vallejo's brown vehicle wash. Um, be careful with it. I, I'm a firm believer you really need to dilute it. Um, and so I'm just kind of slopping it on here. I'm not really worried about, you know, some of the tea staining. That's sort of the whole point. The blue was really bright and shiny and too clean. And so I'm dirtying it up with this stuff. Um, I don't care if it gets in the crevices because I've got that glorious pin wash in there. So I'm just trying to make things look weathered and dirty with brown wash. Works great. Just dilute it. Uh, if you don't dilute it, be aware of how thick it is. I'm also using some diluted black wash on the concrete to make them pop out a bit and give them a little more detail. Now it's time to actually mount the model onto the base. So everything's getting pinned again. Black CA glue, accelerant, 
and then I'm using a trick where I dab the ends of the pins in some paint and then I can set that on the base it'll leave a little mark and then I know where to drill the holes on the base yay neat trick I didn't invent it can't remember where I saw it Here I'm using a crappy old brush to smooth out some of that Viejo earth paste. Uh, I've spread it, I've let it dry out a bit. It's a little tacky or a little stiffer, and this is a great way to kind of smooth that out. You'll also probably notice that I've got that red plastic scan ray thing jammed into that wet uh, earth paste. That's how I'm holding it up is just you know, jam it into the paste and then I'll brace it with the gun a little bit later. Good trick. Normally I tend to be a little fussy about bases and uh, spend a lot of time detailing the dirt and how I'm putting down some of the uh, rubble or whatever the material is. I just needed to get through this so I could call it done. Um, I'm not being overly sloppy. I'm just not taking the same amount of time that I normally would. And that was just a conscious choice, and that's okay. You know, sometimes if you're struggling to finish something, figure out if you can adjust your victory conditions. Um, so, you know, I'm uh, yellow ochre and burnt sienna, I think, are great for kind of reddish stuff. Uh, trying to do some, you know, wet blending literally right there on the base to mix the colors around but still get some differentiation. I've got a bunch of odds and ends, static grass. Sometimes I use a static applicator. Sometimes I just uh, pinch them in with my fingers. That all works well. I've got some sand and some rubble that, uh, you know, I've got from the yard and whatnot, uh, just throwing those on as well. And um, then I've got some good old ubiquitous army painter grass tufts. Um, and just getting all of those things down to try to get a mix of textures and some, you know, break things up a little bit and, um, you know, knocked off the drone at one point and had to re-glue that on. But, uh, you know, it's all okay. Everything's fixable. There you have it. This model was a lot of fun to build once I kind of got out of my own headspace and just knuckled down and got to it. The model is a bit pricey. I think it's around 20 US dollars, but it's worth it. Uh, it's, you know, all of the options. Uh, you can build many different things. There's a lot of little add on customizable parts. It's really poseable. Um, I can see myself building, you know, more of these in the future. It's a good one for building kind of the little mini diorama type things that I enjoy. So yeah, you know, uh, spendy, but I think worth it. And again, fun to build once I got out of my own headspace. And with that, let's have a look at it. As always, please do all the things. Uh, subscribe if you're not already, that way I automatically show up in your feed when I drop a new video. Um, if you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up and a like. Let me know down in the comments what you thought of this. If you find yourself struggling with you know, getting motivation to finish things out, let me know some of the things you do to help yourself. Until next time, remember, be kind, especially to yourself. Learn something, experiment, fool around. Remember, at the end of the day, it's just paint and plastic. Until next time, bye-bye.